We'll guide you through how to change your Nintendo Switch eShop region. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So just to show you, my eShop is currently in the United States. So as you can see, the currency is in dollars, but I'm from the UK. So I wanna go and change the region to the UK. To go and do this, you do need to use another device, whether that be a computer, a phone, a tablet, um, and go and open up a web browser. And then all you need to do is go to the Nintendo website. So I just search for Nintendo and then go to the top right and go and click on sign in. And you'll need to click on four existing users, click on sign in. And then what we can do is we can go and sign in. And then what you need to do is go and click on your profile icon in the top right and go and click on settings. It'll take a moment to load and you need to locate your info, click there, and you can then see your information, including your country and region. And then what you need to do is go and click on the edit info button for on, on phones, it's down here. I believe on computers, it's like in the top right of the section though. So yeah, find the button and click on it. And then we can go and select a country and region. So in this case, I'm from the United Kingdom. So let me go and find it. Here it is, I'll go and select it. And then I'll go and click on save changes. It will go and reload. And as you can see, you need to go and confirm um, that you're changing it. There's some important notes about gold points and some other stuff as well. So just make sure you read through it all and understand it. And there we go, we've now gone and changed it. So now what you'll need to do is go and close off the eShop on your Switch. And then we can go down to the bottom and we can go and open it up again. You will be required to go and sign into your Nintendo account again though. If you get that error, that's fine. Just go and relaunch it again. As you can see, it says, please sign into your account. So we'll do that. I've now gone and signed in again and the eShop should go and load. Here we are, if I go and tap down and then go across, it should now, it's now in my currency, which is pounds. So that's it guys. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.